What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich. Man, what's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Today, random mall vlog, just going into Stone Crab Mall over here in uh, good old Latonia, Stone Crab, Georgia, to see what they got in here. Just a simple mall vlog, man. Shout out to Cuzzo for the shirt. Woo! Cuzzo action. Um, but trying to get that cleansed cut action going on. Turn around their way. Uh, like I said, I'm finna go in the mall, man. Um, nothing special on feet today, just some LMX. 95, guys. That's it, man. Everything been selling out at the mall, so I doubt there's anything in here, but I say we should go have a peek anyway. Let's do it. A detail lot right now. This look like if I'm not mistaken, this is like the only Jordans they got in here, period, bro. <laughs> bro, they got the shadow lows in here. Shout what y'all thinking, man? Everything is a low now, so This is like a shadow slash barren Jordan 1 low. What y'all think about these, man? They go good with the little, that little uh, uh, bag I just bought. A little dope with them, but I already got the original shadow, so I think I'm Gucci. Like right, what these is? What these is? This some kind of um, boy, this some kind of Jordan Seven mix with a, this a mixed breed. Shout out to these a much. Shout out where this, where where they mix with? Actually, it's not a terrible looking shoe. It's just the fact that they tried to put Jordan Seven Olympic elements in it and mixed it with another shoe. Yeah, man, Nike do stuff like that sometimes. Is it Nike? Is it? I don't know what man. What by Zoom? Yeah. Okay then. And see, this is where they really overstepped their boundaries, putting the Olympic Jordan number nine on the back of a different color, like Jordan Brand. Come on, man! Y'all hire me, Jordan Brand. Let me get in the uh, office, front office, give y'all some ideas, man. I promise you, you won't regret it. Now they do, um, they do got these guys in there, which I think is a real, um. I think the materials on it is really good, and the shoe ain't that bad either. I'm just not a fan of the jewel swoosh. Never really been a fan of the jewel swoosh before, but I really like the colorway, and like I said, the materials look super, super buttery on anything. You feel me? So, I mean, it's not a bad cop. I mean, they got whole outfits over here uh, to go with the joint, so it'll be straight. So, bruh, this Foot Locker. The last three times I've been in this Foot Locker, they've been closed, bro. And they actually open this time, so they got them um, Bo Jackson shit. Them joints clean. Speaking of Bo Jackson, they got them lows in there, guys, y'all. But he thing, I used to really like these back in the day, but he got look like stompers now, though, boy. They fat as hell. Boy, slim pigs in there, guy. Boy, look how empty it is, man. Like, this on crazy. Like, I don't know what's going on. These the um, Miami Dolphin colorway and these pennies right here. I seen these on sale already. Are they straight. Some old Jordan One lows going on. That's about it. I see they kind of going quite crazy with the questions. They got the Carolina blue pan leather on them guy right here. You feel me? Got no red guy right there. You feel me? Yeah, they're going crazy with a question, but that cut that boy Iverson got that lifetime contract. He was like, Oh, y'all gonna bring some shoes out. They kind of clean. The, uh, he the Georgetown guy right here, bro. With the with the suede on the um on the uh toe. It ain't that bad. They don't sell too. Oh, before I left, I want to did, I did want to check out the Bo Jackson. You know, I saw it in my last vlog, I think, but. I think they restarted at a couple of spots. They eat them like them, I don't know what you call them, the Charlotte, I don't, I don't know what you, but these they hard though, bro. I had to stop myself from buying these because I just sold like so many Bo Jackson. And I just kept like my OG, my Auburns, I kept those. And like, of course I kept my ATL Olympics, but they clean, man. No capping on that. So I just left out of Foot Locker, bro. And, um, it was this Asian guy. When he first walked in, I knew. I already knew he was a reseller, bro. When I first walked in, that guy, he had on the OG Yeezy 350, the V1, the first one, bro. He had them on. I said, bro, as I followed him, I said, he knows something. 
I follow him, he went right in the Foot Locker and bought the last size 12 in the Bel Air, my size. Picked him up, he had a reservation. I said, wow. So, they still got these in there. And um, I, I got me a pair of these probably about, about three or four weeks ago or something like that, but they still in here, man. Galaxy, Air Max 90 guy. But uh, it's a dope shoe, man. He said it's lab when they got, it's a size 11. I was proud to see this in here, but I guess, you know what I'm saying, the, the resale ain't crazy, so the resellers ain't gonna really be uh, selling all these out like that. That's that last size, size 11. I was looking at these, bro. This shoe right here, if it was a collab or something, I guarantee you, if it was super limited and it was a collab, these would be gone, bro. Cause this just looked like one of them shoes that they'll just throw that hype on and they'll resell for ridiculous prices. If they were super limited, yeah, trust. But I see how I got the kid sizes left in these right here. What sizes y'all got? I might get my little girl a pair of these. Size what? She wears a, she on the way to 11 now. That's what I think. Might get Harley a pair of these. I think these are really good for the, for the kids. So, bruh, I done ordered this shoe and I sold out online a million times and they just sitting, just chilling. I might get another pair, bro. just chilling in finish line. And somebody in the comments, I can't remember any name. I'm trying to give you your credit, bro, but you did tell me I should have just went to the finish line. They was sitting. I went to the finish line at South DeKalb, I mean, uh, uh, South Lake Mall, and they didn't have them. But this finish line at my mall, Stone Creek, my closest mall, they got plenty of pairs just chilling comet red og presto wow so they didn't have my daughter's size they had a size she wears a size 10 close to like 11 uh and they had a 12 and like i went then, then it was 80 dollars like i went finna spend 80 dollars and then she grabbed a shoe so quick i said no nah, i'm not finna spend 80 dollars on the shoe just for her to not be able to wear it like in a month you know what i'm saying so and my wife already told me, she told me I need to slow down on buying her like sneakers and stuff. Unless I buy like cheap shoes, like chucks and stuff like that and vans. Um, because she'll grow out of them quick. She like it's a waste of, she said it's like a waste of money. So I kind of feel it though, $80 for them. Not today. I'm in detail a lot and they got every color in them 90s. Them jewel guys. Colorway right here, pretty clean, bro. In the 90s, going on. Colorway pretty clean right here, bro. I ain't mad at these at all, man. I don't need them, but I definitely ain't mad at them, guy. They got these right here, too. I'll show these before in the vlog, so uh, ain't gonna waste y'all time. Y'all know what them is. But what these is, man? What these is? Well, you can fast forward and rewind these hoes, bro. What them is? One of the most generic looking Jordans ever, bro. Like, why do they make stuff like this? Y'all wasting materials. Y'all wasting tumble leather, man. Well, there's some good leather up there. Y'all wasting it, man. It's a waste. Do a better design with that material, man. No. And they got a red one, bro. They got a red one, too. Why? Well, this spud well. up. The Hawks jerseys are going crazy, bro. With the stripe. I ain't never seen that jump before. That don't look crazy, bro. I don't know if I like it or not. Kind of McDonald's-ish a little. Yeah, man, so, like, I'm telling you, bro, the shelves been so empty in malls lately, and everybody been buying stuff online, and if stuff do release in the mall, it sell out, they're not getting shipments like they used to. I'm telling you, in a couple of years, bro, the malls might be a thing of the past. Like, Best Buy places, like, some of these companies gonna start doing online only, man. You ain't even gonna be able to go in the store and get your hands on them, bro. And then everything's selling out like crazy right now. It's just, it's just crazy, man. Like I said, mall in the future, you might not even see your boy doing these mall vlogs. You know what I'm saying? And it's so boring to just buy everything online and do unboxings. I, the vlogs are the main reason I like doing YouTube. I love doing the vlogs, bro. But um, y'all come below and tell me if y'all like this vlog anyway, even though it was Slim Pickens, McGlickens in there, guy. Ain't nothing in that thing. Empty shell, shouty. But uh, y'all come below and let me know what y'all think of it regardless of what and um y'all hit the thumbs up like subscribe to my channel 
hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation, stand all the way up to the moon on them. Keep watching my video, cause that's what I'm here for.